Welcome back. They are not super common in the U.S., but fermented grains and beans are very popular foods in many other countries across the world. A new cookbook out now called Miso Tempe Nato and Other Tasty Ferments gives us a step-by-step -step guide on how we can make these healthy foods for ourselves at home. So here to show us how is co-author Kirsten Shockey. It's good to meet you. Wonderful to meet you. Now, I'm a little... Um, new at this. Let's say I'm new <laughs> at, at this. Tell me what the individual things are. I know what miso is, but explain that. Okay, so miso is a fermented bean paste, mm -hmm. um, and it's actually a two-step fermentation that involves koji, which is um, actually using fungus to get the process started and Yum. harvest the <laughs> enzymes. I know, right? <laughs> Think of it as like growing um, a mushroom around rice or something. Okay, I can get Instead that. Instead of mold. <laughs> Instead of mold, yeah. Tempeh? <laughs> And tempeh is the same idea, different fungus, and you're growing it around the beans, and those enzymes are getting in there and breaking these down and making them so much more healthy and more digestible for us. And natto. Natto, natto is my favorite right now. You're actually using uh, bacteria, subtilis, bacillus subtilis. And what, it, what happens is um, it grows sort of a viscous texture. We were just looking at this. We is this what that is? This is what that Where is. Where you have like Spider-Man webs that are yeah. connecting everything. That's pretty amazing. So why is this good for us? So Ooh. in those webs, and we can call them gossamer threads, okay. we can call them all kinds of things. <laughs> in those threads. <laughs> Uh, is something called natto kinase, mm -hmm. and that is super wonderful for our circulatory system. It gets in there and it breaks apart the fibrin, and so for our circulation, for heart health, um, it's amazing. The other thing that these beans now have is a super high level of um, K2, vitamin K2. Which so the we need. Yeah. right, the highest thing we have in our country is cheese. I mean, of our normal Western foods, is mm -hmm. cheese. Um, which is about 500, and this is about 11,000. Wow. And so, like, so it packs a lot of punch. Yeah, for osteoporosis and things like that, you're starting to not lose your bone mass. I would never get this. tired of playing with this. Right? We're going to make natto <laughs> toast, correct? Yes. So what do we do? Okay. So I'll start getting the avocado ready, okay. and I'll let you start mixing that up. Now, once you start stirring, it's going to anger those threads, and they're going to get, or make them happy, <laughs> to however you want to look at it. <laughs> they're going to get more... More when I do this? Yep. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. Just stir them around. Stir them around. Ooh, I can see it. Isn't that fun? Yes. This is, it looks like a <laughs> cool science experiment. So some people are uncomfortable with the threads, and you can think of it as almost like, you know, like marshmallows when they, yeah. when you're making, or cheese. It's kind of fascinating. For sure. <laughs> okay. And then, so in, these are, Japanese mm -hmm. beans, and so kind of the traditional flavors that go along with them are soy sauce and sesame oil and maybe some green onions. So that I'm going to let you good. add that. Into the beans. Into the beans. All of this. Yep. Okay. Very good. I think I did get the uh, little tendrils in there excited. They're nice <laughs> and thick. All right. Now I just stir these up. Just stir those up. I'm not up. trying to break up the beans or anything like that. No. Nope. Just stir just just stir it up, and then okay. I'm going to get some avocado here. And so that's one way of eating them, but all this stuff over here is ways to hide them if you really want ah. to get the benefits. These are also really good for gut health um, because Which they're a live food. Yes, everybody's <laughs> talking about that, so it's kind of live probiotics that are mm -hmm. happening. And the okay. interesting thing is this particular bacteria um, sporulates, and so those spores can make it down through the acid in your stomach land in your gut and take up residence and kind of help build that gut health. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so I'm going to put some avocado on these little pieces of toast. Who doesn't like avocado toast, so that's cool. And so it's nice to have a little acid, so in this case I'm going to use some sauerkraut because we might as well double our probiotic bang here. I love sauerkraut. Isn't it good? I've never tried it or even thought about it on avocado toast, but let's go with it. Let's right. see what happens. And then you're going <laughs> to Decorate Plop some beans yeah. on top. Now, good luck with that. Okay, let's see if I can actually. <laughs> My husband likes Wait. to say when those fall down, they're little paratroopers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I landed pretty safely on that one. It's a two hand job. For sure. And then once we get these made, let's talk about some of the other places we can put them where they're a little more hidden. If, you do, if you're not crazy about the taste, then you can still get the health benefits, but in a different kind Absolutely. of food. Absolutely. Okay. Got your sauerkraut there. there. Alrighty. 
Okay, plop Let's number see. two. <laughs> plop number two, if I can make this happen. There we go. Beautiful. Nicely All right. done. Can I take a taste? Absolutely. Let's see, what am I going to think about this, do you suppose? Take a um, small taste? <laughs> I think they're nutty, little coffee flavors. That's the hard part. <laughs> like spaghetti, but different. <laughs> no, I didn't expect it would taste good, but it tastes, yeah, you're right. Tastes like beans with a little sauerkraut taste. It's perfectly great. Okay, yeah. let's talk about what's what's in these folks. So these are natto. They, um, the recipe has kind of the amount you'd want to eat every mm -hmm. day if you're really trying to build gut health and you really can't take, you know, the full-on stringy bean yet. Yeah, and um, I just want to tell people that's not as strong tasting as you would, when you no. said fermented bean, I thought this was going to be like a giant serious taste, but that's perfectly no, tolerable. So this is a way to hide them and sneak your gut into <laughs> wanting these foods. What's, what's, what's um, made out of? Coconut, mm -hmm. chocolate, um, that's pretty much it. That's it. Yeah, it's pretty I good I see a stuff. few strings in there. Yeah, but the that, that's where you can kind of webs. think of them as uh, like, you know, Rice Krispie treats, those kind of strings. If, there you, you know, go. It's all, we're all mental. <laughs> <laughs> and so you have like some dips and tapas over here. Tell me about those. Yeah, so this, this, this is, is like. I call it tapenato. So it's mm -hmm. a tapenade. Um, again, just bringing it into flavors that people are used to tasting. Um, these sour flavors also break up the um, kind of that bean nuttiness. This is these a- These little truffles are delicious. Like those, and they're yeah. full of energy. Oh my gosh. And this is a pimento cheese mm -hmm. with a little natto, because natto is kind of like cheese. You know, it's got the strings. It also has that umami of like a stinky French cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, we've got a um, hummus. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that think, oh, I'm going to throw natto in my hummus, don't just put it in the um, food processor. You've got to keep it separate like this because otherwise you get, I mean, it, you, you thought that got angry. It's you should see what really it does in a food You'll processor. You'll never get it out of the food yeah. processor. And then you have the vegetables and things to dip into it so you can get a, a little bite as you Absolutely. go along. Absolutely. Tell me about the, the books. Okay, so this is I our... I have another taste of this. This is so good. <laughs> this is our first book, Fermented Vegetables, and it's all about just... Just that A to Z fermenting vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, this one is our condiment book. Um, again, just taking this further into all the condiments. And then finally, this the one, one just came out. Yeah. And it's beans Great job. and grains and all, right. all of that. I feel like I got healthier you did. here today. You I'm going to keep snacking just to make sure <laughs> to check out Kirsten's Not a Recipe. Please visit New Day's website. You'll find it.